I was thinking of the many ways I could start this video, but I think the best way to do it is by telling you. It feels weird making one video that is in a review, at least to a retrospective. I have now been making game reviews for three years now. It has been a really good learning experience for me as a gamer, as a YouTuber, and even as a writer. I really don't plan to stop making reviews anytime soon. They're actually very fun to make. But when you're a one-man band like I am, it can become a very short or a very long process, and that depends greatly on the length of the video and how long it takes for me to play and beat the games I review. And that also takes into account that I am a digital artist and I also have to deal with the day-to-day -day life routine. Some of you may have noticed ever since I started making reviews, my upload output slowed down considerably. This year in particular, I was lucky to get one or two review outs per month, and that was in big part with me dealing with my own anxiety of not knowing the ideal time to focus on making those videos, and that also came from the fact that this year I played a lot of very long games. I'm going to address this in a separate video because I've been feeling strongly about it, but the long story short is, I ended up enjoying longer games a lot more this year. It's like a flame ignited and I just couldn't get enough of them. I became uh, addictive to them, in spite of what your favorite cynical YouTubers and edgy commenters insist, they represent everything wrong with games. So, knowing playing longer games that led to longer recordings, more time writing scripts and more time editing, I thought to myself, what if I make shorter videos and other topics to keep the channel active in between reviews? On paper that would be a good idea, but as time went on, it ended up leading me nowhere, because now I was feeling bad that I was working on a random video when I could be working on the big long reviews, and then end the day wasting hours on end not doing anything except feeling guilty because I worked on neither. Even playing games from my backlog for the sake of playing then was starting to make me feel guilty, because part of me kept thinking those 50 hours I put into an awesome indie RPG Maker game could have been used to make that very long review I kept putting off because I wanted to make the shorter videos but I didn't do them because I wanted to do the other stuff and you get the idea. It became a vicious cycle right up until I actually sat down this week at the time of this recording and just work on the big review. I think it was after I uploaded the DLC review for Metro Exodus that I was finally working on this next review that it actually hit me. What if, instead of putting myself through a vicious cycle that does nothing but hurt me pointlessly, instead I simply changed my approach? It's November 22 at the time of this recording. That means there is about 40 days or less before the year ends and we go into 2023. What I'm thinking right now, and it is why I'm making this video to begin with, what if I use the remaining days of this year to make as many reviews and videos as I can, so by the time 2023 starts, I actually put together a schedule? Because see, one of the most poisonous things sites like YouTube and social media has done to content creators has been subjecting them to the gig economy. Algorithms will reward people that put out consistent content and do search engine optimization, while those who don't upload frequently enough get silently pushed aside. This is especially unhealthy because it leads to burnout, even for creators that have an entire staff working for them and helping them succeed. In my case, I've been putting unreasonable amounts of pressure on myself when I have no real reason to. I have around 600 subscribers, my videos rarely get past 100 views, I'm supposed to be doing this for fun. So why should I keep stressing myself like this when even the few people that watch my videos are actually happy that I make them at all? And that's before getting to the other stuff I want to make as a digital artist. So instead of hurting myself pointlessly and ruining something that is supposed to be good and fun for me, I say maybe it's best that I cut my losses for this year. If everything goes according to plan, I will be able to put at least one review every week. With better scheduling, I will even make videos talking about topics that interest me and also schedule those. My personal goal right now being that I can put up at least two or three videos per week, and if that plan works out, maybe bump it to four videos in the long term. That way, I get extra time to work on whatever I want to work on, and having material done in advance means I have a lot less self-imposed weight on my shoulders. And hopefully, it helps revitalize my channel a little bit. Because let's face it, in this current state, I have failed as a YouTuber. I sadly killed my channel a few years ago when it drowned in Let's Play and other gameplay videos and never truly recovered. But that's okay, really. 
Failure doesn't necessarily mean it is the end of things. It simply means I have to go back to the drawing board, look at what's been working and correct the course on what is not working. Because in the past three years, even with my inconsistent upload schedule, some of my work still managed to pull some small numbers. So all I really need to do next is stay consistent and more importantly, I have to make sure that it is fun to make. Plus, it's not like the past few years of video making have been a waste. I managed to pick up new skills and even improve my writing to the point where sometimes I even play my own videos in the background. So good things did come out from this experience. So that's the plan right now. I may not upload any more reviews for the time being, but it does mean I will probably make some more vlog style videos more often. Maybe spice in some nice style editing for extra fun. Give myself a feel to how it, this new approach for my channel will be like. I could even keep activity going by throwing in some shorts too. The sky is the limit really, but I do need to do it in a healthy way so I don't fall in the vicious cycle anymore. That's about all I have to say for now. Expect more videos like this in the future, they may not be as elaborate as the video essays I have in mind, but we'll see how it goes. If you reached the end of this video, I thank you very much for watching. If you really like this video, please give me a like. If by any chance you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and I guess, hopefully, I will be seeing you all in the next one.